Indiana Attorney General Curtis Hill will not face criminal charges. We brought the special prosecutor's decision to his breaking news this morning. And just minutes ago, Governor Eric Holcomb said his position has not changed. He still believes Hill should resign. State House Bureau Chief David Williams here now with more on that. David. The governor says this seven page report from Special Prosecutor Daniel Sigler shows a disregard of the executive branch's zero tolerance harassment policy. But this report also details why Sigler decided not to file charges of battery or sexual battery against Curtis Hill. AJ's Bar, Indianapolis. Four women, Democratic State Rep Mara Candelaria Reardon and State House staffers Nikki De Silva, Gabby McElmore, and Samantha Lozano, all accused Attorney General Curtis Hill of inappropriate, unwanted touching at an end of session party early that morning. I took their statements from the perspective that I believe them. I did find them to be credible because I wanted to I wanted to decide if I believe them. Uh, is there a case for prosecution? So I did believe them, and nonetheless, I decided I didn't think I could meet my, my burden. I did not feel I could prove the intent of Curtis Hill to be rude, insolent, or angry. Instead, Sickler says Hill was overly friendly and touchy with everyone in the bar. The inspector general's report states special agents interviewed 56 witnesses. Several witnesses told investigators Hill's conduct was inappropriate, quote, creepy, unwelcome, and made many of the women at the party uncomfortable. Sigler says he didn't speak directly to Hill. Instead, through his lawyers, Hill gave a video recorded statement. From his statement, he does not deny touching. Okay, but there's a lot of vague in betweens and all that. So there's no, there, there, there was no denial that there was touching. There's no denial. Uh, there's disagreement as the extent of it, as you might imagine. But Ziegler says the exact timeline of what happened that night is hard to prove. There's no ability to say this happened at this time. This person was here and that person was there. I, I, that, that was just impossible. Today, Hill's attorneys sent a statement saying in part, quote, Mr. Hill will continue to serve the people of Indiana in the capacity for which he was elected as the Indiana Attorney General. Today, the Inspector General's office said, quote, while the findings of our investigation did reveal unacceptable behavior by a state office holder and which significantly impacted those affected, we respect the grounds on which Special Prosecutor Sickler made his decision. We also got a statement from President Pro Tem David Long. He says he believes Hill stepping down is the right thing to do. The Special Prosecutor wasn't the only person speaking out today. Curtis Hill's accusers also spoke publicly for the first time, right, Stephanie? Yeah, David, you were there. You know the, the accusers took kind of a neutral tone. We heard statements from the three of them before. Today, a fourth previously unidentified accuser revealed her identity. Again, they kept it neutral and kept it professional, but still hope to hold Attorney General Curtis Hill accountable for what they say he did. The victims, a state representative, communications director, and two legislative assistants via their attorneys say they'll file a civil suit against Hill and the state. They're also filing filing paperwork with the state of Indiana and the federal government to make sure their rights to file a suit against Hill are preserved. They're filing a tort claim notice with the state and equal opportunity, equal employment opportunity commission charges. The women believe the findings in the special prosecutor's report reinforced the truthfulness of their claims despite the fact no charges were filed against Hill. The actions that we're taking against Curtis Hill are one thing, but this is also a message that Further actions like this cannot be tolerated, cannot continue to go on without consequences being given. So we put all, we put ourselves out there, we put our, our jobs and our reputations on the line, and um, just to be told that, you know, you're believed, but there's nothing we can do. So we're just taking that next step to see if there is something we can do. And as of this time, the accusers haven't filed any official court paperwork. We'll let you know when that changes. Stephanie Zeppelin, IT Mate.